Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dilesh Ragi and you're watching Techie Programmers. And today in this video, I'm going to help you install CLang on your Mac OS. Without any further delay, fire up your laptop, connect it to the internet and follow the steps. So the first step here is to install Visual Studio Code. So what you're going to do is just visit the link in the description, tap that and hit on this Mac and install it. Once it starts downloading, you can move to the Docs section or it will automatically redirect you to the Docs section. So here, what we are going to do is go for C++ here and down, going down, you can just look for CLang on macOS. Hit on that. And here we have a complete documentation of, of installation of CLang in Visual Studio Code. So what are we going to need? First of all, as I said, we are going to install the VS Code on our macOS. And later, step number two is to install C++ extension for VS Code. Once we're done with installation of extension, what we need to do is, is to ensure that we have CLang installed in our machine. So to do that, what we can do is check CLang underscore underscore version. So let's do it. So what you can do is fire up the terminal and paste this code and hit enter. For me, it shows that I have already installed or I have a CLang version installed on my machine. So if it is not installed on your machine, don't worry, we will be doing it here. So here we have another task that is if CLang isn't installed enter the following command to install the command line developer tools. So what you just need to do is copy this code, move to the terminal back and paste it and hit enter. So what are you going to do is there is another way of doing this. What you can do is just go to app store, search for Xcode. You can directly install this particular application, but it's 12.7 GB. So if your Mac doesn't have a lot of storage, what you can do is just try to install the developer tools. So it says the tools are already installed. So for you, it, it should start installing maybe somewhere around 500 MB of internet. So once done with installation of developer tools, then you can recheck for CLang version and hopefully you will be successfully install the CLang. So now what we are going to do is install the extensions. We have our zip file downloaded, so just hit on open. So now we are going to drag and drop it in the applications. Now that we have dragged and dropped it to the application, we can now launch the application directly. So let's move to VS Code, let's search it here and double tap to open. Hit open. So here we have our VS Code installed. So what we are going to do is move to the plugin section here, other extension section, whatever you can call, and go for CC++. And you can just see that it has Microsoft written there. Click on that, let's check it. Yeah, this is what we want to install. Click on the install button here. It's already installing for me. So once it's done, we can run our C program. Uh, one more thing that you can do is install code runner, codes extension. What you need to do is just, you know, you'll get two options. Let's say if this is an example, you just get an install option here. So go here, you hit on the install button and you will be able to run the languages like C, C++, Java, JavaScript, PHP, Python, Perl, Ruby, Go, Lua, and many more. So basically this helps you to, you know, just this tiny little shortcut here to run your code. So now it's pretty much simple. What you need to do is just go here, create here, create a new file, write your code here, and you know, just save it with .c extension. And if you have installed the code runner extension, you will get this tiny little play button. Click on that and your code should. If you have any suggestions, make sure you comment on this video. If you want to make me uh, any other different tutorials, then let me know for which video are you ready for. I hope this video really helped you a lot. That's it from my side. See you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.